Pictures of Fire, the story of Gideon. Autumn has come to the house just down the street and around the corner. The wind is blowing down the brightly colored leaves. In fact, the wind is blowing down almost anything that gets in its way. <laughs> it's a good day to stay indoors. A good day to read a good book. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Just when I get to the good part, Father interrupts. Hurry, I need your help. We better see what's wrong. Rats. Come on. Okay. Oh, dear. This ancient Israelite picture is one of my most prized possessions. Dad, what are you doing? Attempting to get this back up. We'll help. Yeah. Heave. Oh. It's starting to move. Don't let go. Wave the time. Or two. Don't give up now. Oh, there it goes. We did it! Ah. Whew. See what you can accomplish when you put your mind to it, Christopher? You're so helpful, I'm going to give you another job. You can rake up the leaves so I can go back and finish my reading. Well, I was planning to finish some reading, too, but of course I can wait. Look at all these leaves. I'll never get them raked up. Don't forget what your father said. You can do it if you try, especially if I help. Looks like Ruffles wants to help me, too, so how can I refuse? Well, on, Ruffles. <laughs> mm. Hey, that's not exactly helping, Ruffles. She thinks it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We finished the job. Didn't I tell you we could do it? Now, that's my book. Huh? Look! Oh, dear, oh, dear! What? Oh. Oh, what a mess after all that work. Huh? It's Superbook. Another adventure. Hooray! like the kind my father Listen, has. be still. Those pictures play an important part in today's story. Come, let's travel back to ancient Israel. are the mountains of Manasseh. Here the children of Israel are hiding out from the multitudes of Midianite and Amalekite soldiers. The enemy forces have destroyed their farm crops, stolen their sheep and oxen, and left the Israelites impoverished. I smell 
Grapes. My sensors register a scent of grapes coming from northwest. Gizmo, you may be right. There's a cave in those rocks over there. Shall we take a look? Mm -hmm. Wait, attention, alien approaching. You missed her. <laughs> huh? Gosh, what's the trouble? Anything we can do to help? Huh? Hello. Hi. Oh. <gasps> wow, you nearly scared me to death. I thought you must be spies sent out by the enemy. You did? Yeah. What enemy? Both the Midianites and the Amalekites. There are a couple of murdering enemy tribes that are trying to destroy us Israelites. So you made the cave your hideout, I suppose. All of us had to find some place to hide to escape from the enemy tribes. I remembered this cave where they used to make wine, so I ran for my life and made it up here. And so far, it seems to be safe. Say, by the way, who are you? My name is Christopher, sir. And this is Joy. And that's Gizmo there. And what is your name? It's Gideon. It's safer inside. Better come in. It's fairly pleasant in the cave, except for the constant smell from that grape press over there. As I told you, there was a time when wine was made in the cave. Haven't you noticed that it smells like grapes in here? Mm-hmm. What a smell. Yummy. Yeah, I guess it makes you hungry. I'm out of food right now, but I'll go see if my friend Pura can give us some. Wait here. OK, thanks. Watch your step, Gideon. Yes, be careful. Gideon. Get in. Huh? What? Who is this man? And why am I not afraid of him? I am an angel of the Lord, Gideon. The Lord Almighty is with you and all of Israel. He wants you to rise up against your enemies. He will make you a mighty warrior, and you will save your people. Pardon me, but it seems to me that the Lord has forsaken Israel and delivered us over to the enemy. You say I must go and save Israel? Be like a mighty warrior and conquer the enemy? Well, the Lord must know I don't have enough courage to conquer a fly. If you have faith in the Lord, he will give you the courage. But I'm too young and too poor to do anything. I don't have any power. Faith can't help. Faith in God will give you the might to save Israel. Be not afraid, you shall not die. Wait, don't leave me. The Lord is with you. I've seen an angel of the Lord face to face. Thanks for bringing us food, Gideon. He doesn't seem to hear anybody who speaks to him. He's been that way ever since he came home. Gideon! Huh? Hello, Pura. I'm glad you're home. But why? What's wrong? I just learned that the Midianite soldiers are on the move again, and with them the whole army of the Amalekites. Whereabouts are they now? They've crossed the River Jordan and set up camp in the valley beside Mount Mora. Do something, Gideon, before they come any closer. Help us save ourselves. Pura, what possible help can I be? I wouldn't know where to begin. Beat them to the attack. Since we're so outnumbered, the only possible hope is to take them by surprise. Two whole armies. With so many men, they can come and take every last thing that we have. That's the point. What's left for them to want to take? Nothing. Nothing at all. So this time, they're going to take our lives, friend. But what can I do about it? The Lord Almighty is with you and all of Israel. He has chosen you to rise up and destroy your enemies. He'll make you a mighty warrior. If you believe, the Lord will give you the strength. Be not afraid, Gideon. You shall not die. I have no choice. What'd you say? I couldn't hear you. I said we have no choice but to attack first. Pura, summon all of our soldiers. Yes, sir. I'll take command. <gasps> He's different. Yeah, he seems like a new person. Wow, I never saw so many soldiers. 32,000, but they can't all be soldiers, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. But Gideon, what do you mean? I know it's hard to believe it, but God has spoken to me and said that he doesn't want the army to have so many. 
But the larger army we have, the better chance there is to beat the enemy forces. Yes, but let's see if I can explain. I was told that the Lord is going to conquer our foes and deliver the Israelites. But if all these soldiers fought, they would say that they saved themselves by their own strength. We have to learn that it's only God that can save us. And I believe the Lord's plan is better. What plan is that? You'll see. Patience, friend. Attention! Men, we're going to attack. If any of you are afraid to fight, leave now and go home. Most of the men are leaving. Those who go would not make good soldiers. Good soldiers are brave. Looks to me like only about a third of them stayed behind. One third of 32,000 equals 10666. Please don't send any more away or we won't have a chance. Sorry, but I have to lose some more. Attention, please, everybody. Go have a drink of water before the battle. <laughs> Hear this, men who drank, face up and watchful. You are the ones I've chosen to be soldiers. All the rest of you are free to go home now. He won't have a chance with so few. Depends on how large the enemy is. Come on, let's go and spy on the Midianites and find out. Okay. Wow, there's thousands in the enemy camp. Gideon can't beat so many. He might have a chance if we could pick up some enemy secrets and process them in my computer. Do you want to go down there and see what we can find out? Hmm. Hope they don't see us or we'll be in touch. Uh-oh, aliens approaching. <gasps> Chris, what do we do? Come on, let's run. I can't. Oh, no, not now. Don't leave me. Oh, nothing's <laughs> enough for snow. <laughs> Chris, Joy! Huh? Look, it's Gideon and Thora. Oh. oh, yes, it's not enemy guards. We're down here spying for you. Thank you for trying to help, but it's terribly dangerous down here, you know. We don't want you to get captured or hurt, so please go back to the camp and wait for us there. And you'd better hurry. It's going to be dark very soon. Pura and I are planning to wait until dark. Then we'll start spying on the enemy camp ourselves, Chris. What if you're captured? Don't worry, I'll be back. Promise you'll be careful. Of course. Let's go. Yes, sir. Bye. Good luck. Thank you. Nightmare last night that woke me up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, tell us all about it. It was the most peculiar dream I've ever had. I dreamt that a huge loaf of bread fell out of the sky and tumbled down the mountain and smashed into our tents. The entire camp was destroyed. That's crazy. Crazy, but scary to boot. Well, it doesn't scare me because I don't know its meaning. Can anyone tell me what it means? Yes, I think I can. My mother taught me how to interpret dreams. Then, by all means, let's hear your interpretation. Yes. Have you heard about Gideon, the captain of the Israelite forces? He's a poor excuse for a leader, they say. From what I hear, Gideon's the biggest coward this side of the Jordan River. I wouldn't count on that. The loaf of bread in your dream is a symbol of the strength of the Israelite forces. I think Gideon's men are going to come down and smash us to bits. What? Why, that's impossible. We've got to face it. Midian's going to get massacred because dreams never lie. Oh, I was oh. happier not knowing. Do you hear that? Mm-hmm. The time is ripe to launch our attack on them tonight. 
Let's go. I hope poor and Gideon made it. <gasps> What's that? Let's see. <gasps> Attention! We are going to attack the enemy camp tonight. Are you with me? Yay! When we arrive at the outskirts of the enemy camp, I will blow my trumpet, and at the signal, everyone must shout, a sword for the Lord God and for Gideon. Understand? Yay! I wouldn't want to be Gideon's enemy now that he's changed. Just think, he was once a coward. Why do the soldiers have those pictures? Battles are fought with weapons, not with pictures. We've seen a picture of those pictures. Hello. Hi, Hi Gideon. Gideon. I just wanted to let you know that our spying mission was successful. Really? That's right, because I've learned something that tells me that God's helping our troops, so they're sure to win. <laughs> Twelve o'clock. That's right. I guess there isn't much chance that Gideon will attack before daybreak. Oh, let's get some rest. There were torches inside the pictures. Gideon has invented new kind of weapon. Attack! A sword for the Lord and Gideon. 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 defeated them. Thanks to you, Gideon, we're free of the Midianite powers at last. Thank God, not me. Mm -hmm. Now, hold on tight. Ooh. <laughs> You're all right. Just be sure you hold on right here. Everybody ready to go? Hi. This is neat. If you don't fall off, get up. Don't go too fast. I never thought I'd walk a mile with a camel. As official chairman of the victory celebration, let me welcome you. Thank you. <clears throat> All of Israel has asked me to express our gratitude to you. 
We want you to be our king. No, I cannot be your king because the Heavenly Father is our king. It is to him and him only that we must give thanks for freeing our country from the hands of the enemy. Truer words were never spoken, but come to our banquet anyway and be king for a day. <laughs> You're invited, children. Yes, thank you. I'm in charge of the food, so eat all you like. It looks splendid. Ha uh ha. -huh. Come and sit with me. I know you like food. <laughs> Sorry I haven't had more of a chance to visit with you all. Now that we've defeated the enemy and peace is restored, I hope that we can relax and have more fun. Mm -hmm. You won the war with pitchers of fire. Right. That was the Lord's plan all along, and I was simply doing his will. It was his idea and his victory. It wasn't mine. Even so, it took a lot of courage to lead the army like that when you've never done it before. I think we can do nearly anything if we try hard enough and put our faith in the Lord. That's a good thing to remember when I get back home. Yes, it is. I'll try. Here's some fruit. Oh, boy. Thanks. Thanks. Ah. <laughs> Wonder what father's got in mind for me now. Alfie, Ruffles got trapped in a tornado. <gasps> what? <laughs> Yes, we can do nearly anything if we try. Nearly anything, Chris. So long from Superbook. Don't you know it's so, so simple? simple. 